In this video, we will see how to carry out standard statistical analyses of vector data using R, but from within a QGIS session. We will not yet use spatial information or spatial statistical techniques, but rather we will focus on standard statistical methods. We will work within the same SAGE life expectancy data that was used in a previous video on how to transfer vector data from QGIS to R, that is the data set contained in the lifeexpectancy.zip file, which is associated with the map of the world that can be seen here. The data set consists of 165 polygon features, that is countries, and 64 attributes, that is variables. They can be seen by selecting in the layer menu, the option open attribute table. For each of the 165 countries, we have variables such as name, or world region, or area in square kilometers, or others. It is advisable that the information on the videos that deal with how to transfer vector data from QGIS to R be mastered before carrying on with this video. We will see how a standard multiple linear regression can be carried out in R based in a QGIS session where the data set has already been loaded. In the Processing Toolbox panel, select R Scripts, then select Tools, and by double clicking on Create New R Script, we open a script editor window. As was seen in the previous vi video on working with vector data, we first write a header specifying to which group in the processing toolbox we wish to add our new script. We will add it to the, the My Scripts group by writing a first header line which is double hashtag my scripts equal group. We must also define the name and nature of the data that will be transferred to R. As we before, we will call the R object R data, and it is of vector type. So we write this second line in the script header as double hashtag R data equals vector. Next, and as before, we will select the data slot from our data, which contains the attribute table of the vector data. We will call the resulting data frame the att.table object. The R command to store in an object called att.table, the data slot of our data, is as follows att.table left arrow our data at data. In R, linear regressions are performed by the LM command, which are the initials of linear model. The LM command must include at least two arguments. First, a formula specifying the name of the response variable and of the predictors, as we will see later, and then a data argument, providing the name of the data frame that contains those variables. In our case, the variables are all stored in the att.table data frame. So, skipping the formula argument for the moment, after a comma, we just write data equals att dot table. In order to specify the variables in the formula, we return to the attribute table. We select the life expectancy variable that is called life xpct as the response variable. 
R requires that the response variable be written to the left of the tilde, which all formulas require. To the right of the tilde, we write the names of the predictors separated by plus signs. Let us choose a few predictors from the attribute table. For example, infant mortality, which is called INF, M-O-R-T-R-T. That will be our, a first predictor. Then we select health spending per capita, that is H-E-A-L underscore P-C-A-P. Again, with a plus sign to separate it from the third predictor, which could be, for example, safe water, which tells us about the availability of safe drinking water, and also a fourth predictor, such as, for example, growth rate, which is back here and is called GRW rate. So the names of these variables must be as they are in the attribute table since they were preserved when we transferred this attribute table to R as we saw in previous videos. This command carries out a linear regression of life expectancy on the four predictors that we specified. We will store the results in an R object called lin.reg. So lin.reg, left arrow, and the lm command that we had written previously. We now use standard R commands to inspect the results. The R command summary provides the basic relevant information for the regression. We just write summary lin.reg. And we run the script that we have just written by clicking on the cogwheels icon. A dialog window appears requesting that we specify the data where our data is stored. In our example, the only available vector data object is already displayed, and so we just click the Run button. We can see the results that are displayed in the window. It looks like a very good multiple regression with a coefficient of determination of nearly 1. People familiar with R will see that we have been shown the standard output of a linear regression in R. But there is a problem with the analysis that we have just performed. This can best be seen by returning to the QGIS window and opening the attribute table. A quick glance at the values of the response variable life expectancy shows that there are negative values, in particular minus 99. This impossible value for a life expectancy was used by the authors of the dataset to code for missing values. However, as they are numerical values, the R command LM accepted them as legitimate values for the response variable in the linear regression. A similar problem exists for some predictors. This means that the linear regression that we carried out is incorrect. We need to exclude these false negatives and treat them as what they really are, that is, missing values. How can we exclude from the analysis countries for which minus 99 has been used to indicate missing values? Incidentally, to see these countries in QGIS, we can select them using the Select Features button and then the Fields and Values option. Selecting the response variable Life XPCT by double-clicking on it, we'll write the variable name in the expression window, and we can complete the expression in that window by writing less than zero to see which countries have negative life expectancies in the attribute table. Click the select button. In the QGIS windows, the countries for which life expectancy is missing are highlighted. 
how can we exclude these countries from the regression in R? First of all, do not forget to deselect the highlighted countries in the QGIS window or else that will have become the active data set to which the R script that works interactively will apply, thus destroying our future analysis. This is done by clicking on the Deselect Features from All Layers buttons to the right of the Select button. Coming back to the R script window, we can identify those countries that have negative life expectancy by writing a logical condition in R. This is done by writing the name of the data frame att.table and then selecting the column called LifeXPCT. After this, we write a logical condition such as being negative. Running the script, we see that the result is a logical vector of true and false values indicating which countries respect the condition that was written down. In other words, have negative life expectancies. In order to select the subset of countries with valid life expectancies, we turn the condition around, ask for positive life expectancies, and store this in a logical vector called valid. We will now use this logical vector to subset the countries of the data frame that have valid life expectancies. In other words, by selecting only those rows in the attribute table which have the logical value true in this logical vector valid. So we copy the linear regression command change the name of the object in which we store it to lin.reg2 and go to the end to the data argument and to restrict in the att.table only selecting only rows that have a valid life expectancy. So between square brackets we write valid to select the rows and then a comma which means that all columns will be selected. We can now ask for a summary of this new linear regression. So we write summary of lin.reg2, run the script again, and we see that the linear regression now has a lower but realistic and still very respectful value of 0 0.9289 for its R squared. We could do any other of standard procedures for multiple linear regressions, such as considering simpler submodels, doing hypothesis tests or confidence intervals.